Hey guys, we are exploring Complete 14 and in this video we're going to take a look at SELECT, the smallest, simplest, cheapest bundle of Complete. Now I already did like a quick overview TLDR, so check it out, let's dive in. So this is the page for Complete and you can see the different packages, we have SELECT and we have STANDARD, we have the ultimate and then we have the collector's edition and I'm going into select and here you have a lot of information right you get uh, all the kinds of uh, product that are included but if you want to learn what is included here or what is included in the other packages and you want to compare you can go into the compare link and I already covered that in a and a quick preview in the other video and you can see the four different packages and just compare them so lots of information here now if you want the specifications you go to specification that's the system requirements included products that's what is interesting here so select includes three different synthesizers and we have monarch massive and reactor Prism, but you also get the reactor player, which can be used to run third party or additional uh, libraries. And the reactor is the kind of platform for synthesizers, as opposed to contact, which is the sampler and is the platform for sample based products or libraries. So here we have some sampled instruments. So you get the contact seven player very important so the player is great you can run a lot of libraries there but you're not able to run everything some manufacturers uh, do their uh, libraries uh, without compatibility to the player so make a note of that let me know in the comments if you have any questions so we, we get quite a few interesting libraries here. We get the Soul Sessions, which is a play series uh, instrument. Then we get the Gentleman, which is a great piano. We also have West Africa, which I love. Very, very useful. I have a video covering that. We have the uh, Mark I. We also get uh, this bass, the Scrabby uh, Reichenbecker bass. We get uh, vintage organs. Uh, so. Everything is listed here. One of the things that you do want to make note of is uh, the effects. So phases is great. We got the solid bus compressor, which I love. Very, very useful and very musical uh, uh, compressor to use in many situations, especially on buses. Raum is absolutely crushing it. This is a very, very good reverb plugin and which I actually have a review on. And we have Replica, which I also very, very uh, much uh, love and appreciate. Replica XT is even better, but it's not included in Select. So with that, let's dive into my Cubase session. It doesn't matter if you don't have Cubase, I'm just using, it, just using that to kind of show you things. So there are three kind of ways, four, four ways to uh, use native instrument stuff. So some of the plugins, some of the libraries uh, will be a standalone, like Massive. So you can go and just right click and get Massive. And you get Massive, it's a standalone app, runs, right? And, but for this demonstration right now, I'm gonna show you also the complete control, which is a host software to run anything related to native instruments. And we have three categories. We have the instruments, that's where we are right now, instruments, we have loops and we have one shots. And we'll get to that in a moment. So in the instruments, I'm gonna click this title here and you can get those in um, two categories. You have by category or by vendor. So uh, I'm gonna go with vendor because we really wanna focus on native instruments and I, I, I have pretty much everything so I can't really show you how it would look if you have select but you get the idea and we can explore some of this stuff here. So 
For example, as said, you get uh, Massive and Monarch. So uh, Massive is great synthesizer. And when you click that, you'll get the banks. So if you have some expansion packs, which are also included with Select, you'll see all the banks here. And I'm, I'm just gonna go with the first one and let's click that. So now it's loaded and I can click the plus to get the full blown view and just let, let's have a play. Right, and we can change the expansion here of the bank and I can try and find something else. Now Massive is a wavetable synthesizer, meaning it is based on wavetables. We have three oscillators and you can click this drop down right here and you'll get the different wavetables that are the sound source. I'm not going into details here. It's a lot of, uh, to cover and we don't have enough time in this video, of course. So um, that is massive. If we'll go um, just two step down, we'll get Monarch, which is a great monophonic synthesizer you let me know in the comments what kind of synthesizer it is following so we have monarch and again we have the banks very deep basses Right, looking for deep basses, that is it. So next we also get uh, Prism. So Prism is, is really uh, kind of odd, very uh, interesting synthesizer. It is a kind of a um, physical modeling idea. So uh, let's have a listen. Right, so it is great for all kinds of sounds, very useful. And next we do have some play series instruments. Let me show you what is play series. So play series is sample based. It is contact library. It can run in the free player. And for example, we can go with uh, one of those that comes with select. So I'm gonna go with the hybrid keys. And again, very simple um, instrument. We get two layers, A, B, you can click this title here, change the sound and just go and play with those macros. Now, some of the newer libraries in the play series will give you also sound and arpeggiators tabs where you can tweak the sounds even further. Right, you get the idea. Nothing much here to control. 
and you will click this sound here you'll see that you have a lot of things that you can do there's a layer a and layer b and you can tweak the uh, sound uh, all kinds of parameters like the transposing tuning panning and we also have modulation so i'm covering that in my channel and so check it out i, I have hybrid keys we also have some other contact libraries and uh, let's see west africa so i'm gonna look for that west africa is great uh, library for just adding that very distinct very um let's say uh i don't know how to to kind of define that that's uh, that's like very authentic sounds of west africa so where is that that's gonna be here. So West Africa, let's, uh, let's see. First of all, we have all kinds of different instruments and ensembles. So we have the individual instruments, but we can also get those patterns. And you can actually drag and drop those patterns, by the way. So uh, there's uh, this uh, cross right here. You click and you can drag it and use those patterns and even tweak them further. So let's see what else we have. So we have the types. Let's go with the flute. And that's the flute. Now one kind of fun stuff that you can do with uh, complete control is uh, just click this little plus here and you'll get all kinds of uh, plugins that you already have and of course whatever you have from native instruments and I can get uh, for example a reverb so let, let's get Realm and it will be right after the flute Right, very, very cool. And we can just click that X and remove it. Um, well, something else that we have in, uh, in complete select is, I think very interesting also is the reactor stuff. So I'm gonna close this, go into reactor. And when you're opening it up, you, you get choice of play, patch, build, and you can actually build your own synthesizers and effects. So uh, I've never gone that into that, but that seems like very, very interesting. So when you open up the play, you'll see that you have this uh, player menu right on the left, and we can find something interesting. For example, we can get the, uh, let's go with reactor blocks. And it will open up this ensemble. So it's a synthesizer on its own right, and you will have its menu with presets. And this is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. This is Complete 14 Select. There's a lot of things that I didn't cover, but definitely check out the product page where you can find all the information and some of the stuff I already covered in my channel. But if you have any questions or you want me to deep dive into whatever, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video in this series. So we're going to cover the standard uh, package, which is really great. This is, I think, where you go one level uh, up 
into a more serious kind of native instrument uh, user. So select many, time com many times comes uh, as a free add-on to whatever keyboard you bought or maybe machine. And we didn't really cover the expansions and I'm gonna cover that also in a separate video. You can find some videos that I uh, do the expansions, which are very interesting. So I'll see you soon. Thanks and bye-bye.